देखो रखो वीडियो मारियो लवा वीडियो आएगा एकदम Brother, shall I start now? Yes, Ken. You are ready to go. Okay. Okay then. Uh, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to all my friends from across the globe. Uh, today, um, I'm Shilpa Shah from the Fertile Brains, powered by uh, UOT TWD. Uh, I'm uh, beginning and uh, starting the event uh, in the memory of our uh, President Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan, who was a teacher, and to celebrate the Teachers' Day, which is uh, on 5th September in India, and which is celebrated in memory of Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan. So uh, I'm very much delighted to have all of you. at this platform today with your gracious presence on our zoom platform at this poetic meet uh, on the topic of the teachers day and it it is an immense pleasure uh, to me also uh, because i am myself a teacher and to hear all your verses today uh, will be a happy memory for me because uh, teaching is a noble profession and uh, it takes a lot of hard work for us to have that appreciation now celebrating teachers day is one of the finest moments for me and uh, today today we are celebrating the teachers day on our uh, poetic event uh, sponsored by uti twd uh, by fertile brains so which which is uh, a day which we have kept aside to honor all the gifted souls the teachers who work every day very hard to make sure that the future generation and the future of our country is very bright and uh, just few lines for a uh, teacher a teacher is a kind of a light for the world and the beacon in the dark and the hope that gives us strength to survive on this beautiful occasion of teachers day let me tell you that uh, will we all will take the opportunity to convey our wishes to all the teachers and uh, who have contributed immensely in shaping not only us and shaping the future generation also now let me tell you one more thing that every 5th 5th of september teachers day is celebrated in india to honor dr sarvepalli radhakrishnan uh, on his birthday which falls on 5th september His birthday is fifth September eighteen eighty eight, and he passed away in the year nineteen seventy five at the age of around eighty six something. And he, uh, Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan was the first was the president, not first. He was the president of India from the period of nineteen sixty two to sixty seven, and he was uh, a great scholar and a, as an and also a, an excellent teacher also, and. as a teacher he had a very great impact on the growth development and well being of the students as well as he had taken care when he was in the office as a president to uh, for the growth uh, growth of the economy of our country in the field of education also now dasme singh guru ne bada bichara kare as we can see that the teacher has a great impact on the growth development and well being of the students and also nation we all agree that teachers profession is a noble profession and it is a source a teacher is a source of knowledge and wisdom so today i like like to extend my gratitude to every teacher who gives selfless service who is a gifted soul and who always gives a dynamic support to the students for their growth and development now uh, with all this i would like to 
call upon brother prasanna to say few words before uh, we can begin with the first round and before i can call uh, sunita hussain so brother prasanna i would like to do a few words didi didi you could continue you could have okay then okay i would like to uh, i would like to thank brother prasanna for hosting this event as well as, well as from the team of fertile brains ms sunita hussain jayshree t rao ekta huja divya omkari uh, rupali sarkar gaur ma'am rupali sarkar gaur uh, ma'am jenda uh, and ms maria and uh, ms nirmala mahesh as well as mr arindam rao koshi and hari i would like to welcome all of you and now i'll hand over this uh, event and first lap to ms sunita hussain uh, sunita hi Uh, just can you unmute yourself yeah sure thank you hi and uh, happy to see you here and i would like to hand over the mic to start the first lap of this event sure, sure. and happy thank to you. be again together with all of you thank you thanks a lot shilpa eta ji and uh, Greetings of the day to everyone. Since we are in different time zones, once again we are meeting on this platform. Happy to see you all. And on behalf of our child brain, I would like to welcome everyone over here, including the child brain team, which includes Shilpa Ji, Jashri uh, T Rao Ji, Maria Alvira, Professor Jelda, Nirmala Mahesh Ji. Pervez Sharia, Dr. Pervez Sharia, Devya Onkari, Miss Ekta Uja, Miss uh, Miss Hari Prasad, Mr. Hari Prasad Sorry, and Dr. Rupali Sitar Gaur, uh, Arindam Roy Ji, and T. Kosti. So, for time being, cordially invite every poet on this platform on this eve, which is dedicated to Teachers Day. Uh, tomorrow. We have teachers day as Shilpa Ji already introduced, Sir Pali Radha Krishna Ji, and he was the one who paved the way for education and uh, our first uh, NEP National Education Policy. He was the brain behind it, and today we have the event topic: teacher, the one who affects eternity, till eternity. The teacher affects us, influences us, paves way for us, makes us grow, and that growth is another name of teacher. Now, uh, with, without wasting much time, I also would like to thank Prasanna brother for uh, hosting and uh, organizing this event all the time, taking the initiative with the fertile brain team. And he's the one who does most of the work. So thanks a lot. My heartfelt gratitude to him and to everyone who is present over here. So I would like to call upon Miss Alexandra Prosperoli, poet, for the first poem of the evening. <clears throat> Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm actually a teacher myself um, here in Greece. I'm sorry. Same uh, here, Alexandra. I'm also a teacher. And uh, oh, great! <laughs> so I know I know exactly what it's like to be a teacher. <laughs> okay. Um, I I'm sorry if my my graphic poem is not. Exactly on the theme, but I'm reading Flying Twelve today for you. It is very much visible. Thank you. So Flying Twelve. If you are looking for the supreme resurrection of a passion, try finding it in a vision's flare, volcanoes lava erupting from Earth's womb, battle cry, heroic exodus. breaking all boundaries achieving the impossible invisible and visible entities striving to rise above life and death 
above narrow values, widening narrow paradises, wider and wider along the protean journey, monad, dyad, antithesis, and new synthesis, from each center expanding and fulfilling discovery and power. If you are looking for the finest quality of a creation, try finding it in a divine spark, immortality's rays enlightening mortals' as minds, artheric astric bodies' everlasting vitality, outgrowing every ugliness guided by beauty, thoughts, words, arts giving birth to glorious civilizations. Challenging horizons, freeing from disillusions, freer and freer along the expansion of Genesis. Logic, principles, discipline and equals. Wisdom constructing justice, wholeness and completion. If you are looking for the sweet manifestation of a miracle, try finding it in the human heart flame. Vibrations as rhymes synchronizing with universe's euphony. Endless cycles of sorrow and joy. Hope's momentum waning and flaxing. Waterfalls of emotions plunging down the steep cliffs of our existence. Light brightening through darkness. Brighter and brighter along our sacred friendships. Seasons, leaves, flowers and patterns, warding off evil, regenerating, harmonizing strength and immunity. If you are looking for the archetype of a deity, try finding it in the human soul flame. Earth's devotion endlessly rotating, sun's source, the great absolute energy, propeller of all life whirlpooling through humans and stars, seas of sunlight uniting with skies of fire, stellar symbols heightening cosmic chants, higher and higher along the mystic path, water, earth, air, fire and ideas, worlds and heavens dividing and uniting in divine proportions, if you are looking for the magical journey of a flight, try finding it in an inner euphoria. Mystical self-revelations taking us up to Empyrean worlds. Thank you. A good teacher actually does all of that. Thanks a lot, Alexander, too. Uh, you know, passing on the discipline, the rules, the guidebook of life, life skills, eh, more um, values, and how to push them, the morale of the children, everything is being done by our teacher. Truly said. Now, uh, really well read poem. Now, I would like to call upon Dr. Pragya Bajpayaji for her presentation. Dr. Pragya Bajpayaji. Thank you so much, ma'am. And good evening to all the poets and teachers present here. My sincere compliments to the dynamic dear friend Prasanna for organizing this meet to celebrate the Teacher's Day. My poem is based on Lord Krishna's mentorship because I consider Lord Krishna to be the greatest mentor, philosopher and guide because his teachings in Bhagavad Gita, which is a 700 verse Hindu scripture, is actually set in the form of a dialogue between uh, a Prince Arjun who is, uh, and, and his guide uh, and charioteer Krishna, the personality of Godhead. And just before the beginning of Dharma Yuddha or the righteous war uh, between the two cousins, Arjuna is quite preoccupied by a moral and emotional dilemma. And uh, he does not know what to do. He is is quite confused about the violence and death the war is going to cause and which is why he's wondering if he should renounce the war uh, that's the time when he seeks krishna's counsel 
and that's how this discourse happens and krishna guides him as as the true mentor that he should fulfill the warrior duty uh, to uphold the dharma with the help of selfless action and that's how this uh, discourse happens so my poem is based on that discourse the title of the poem is divine discourse the spirit of discernment and mindfulness krishna prescribed as arjuna joined hands in gratitude seeking a palliative qualified to deal with uncertainty that blunted his sensibility to endure the truth ugly unkind to silence the discordant voices behind to brazen out the appalling war and pain to deal with consuming enmity and disdain to restore a balance in perception of morality to cope with toxicity in totality with the harbinger of catastrophic hour of war cry the chants of master of trade behind the eyes arjuna intently leaned spied the restless sky the core of essence to hit the bull's eye through revelation of highest truth in accord krishna empowered the voracious vanguard by demystifying the cause of antipathy and discord enemy within courts and creates those walking outside unbarred that enemy remains disguised and unrecognized it manipulates and agitates from time to time it instigates it shuts the mind and seals the fate callous mind an enemy intimate easily turns into a bait the thirst of legendary warrior has quenched satiated with divine reason dispensed prudence planted by the sage awakened to sapiens thus made all the difference unchained arjuna from the clutches of doubts and the himalayan confidence to plunge into the fateful terminus sprouts thank you thanks a lot dr sajya vaspai your poem titled divine discourse said it all krishna the great master the great man thought and his discourse in the battle field is the best one food a profound one thanks a lot thank you so much it was good Now I would like to call upon Mr. Umesh Motiyar. Mr. Umesh Motiyar, if I am not mistaken, Umesh Mohitkar. Can you give me five minutes, please? I will uh, after the next uh, uh, performer. I can perform. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we have with us in the road dr shahmanaz dr shahmanaz no this is next 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 part did you could move ahead with uh, to the next part is fine dr shahmanaz is there no this is next part is fine जयश्री दीदी जयश्री दीदी 
we have with us Jessie B. Uh, uh, with us to recite the poem of Dr. Tangi Rala Srinata. Do you please? Good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, at the outset, I want to uh, give you all the advanced uh, Teacher's Day greetings to one and all. Uh, reading the poem on behalf of Dr. Tangriyala Srilata, the title of the poem is Challenge Accepted. Pandemic threat brought in lockdown. Student and teachers are left penned down. Tough time passed by in it beyond insecurity, indefinite break, augmented much anxiety, no clarity when normalcy would set in. Teachers upset about the topics lagging. Management's urged for online teaching. A student's career shouldn't go waste. Yes, challenge accepted in instant haste. Tutors in apt house ready for presentation. Likely to confront overnight transformation, suppressed, weird inhibition and tech fear, managed with funds meager all the year, no clarity when pay would be credited. Today, teachers endured the test of many, inspection of the erudite or otherwise any, as the student's life shouldn't be at stake. Yes, challenge accepted with no shake. Sacrifice their lives as dutiful soldiers to avert the youngsters' life from dangers. Endured paltry censure of the extraneous to enable the ward's life harm harmonious. Insolvent though, solve puzzles tougher. Expelled from jobs, some term turned impoverished. Obliged to opt for humble ones, unblemished. Never complained or grumbled in frustration. Yes, challenge accepted in total confirmation. Matched pupils' dreams with few dialogues. Many salutes to such sincere pedagogues. Thank you. Thank you, Dean, for reading on behalf of Dr. Seminar. Oh, sorry, Dr. Tangarila Silata. Uh, hopefully, Mr. Unmesh. Uh, Am I audible? Form? Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a poem which I read on a running metro, uh, so in Pune. And this is in three languages. It's about India. Uh, so here we go. This was a very interesting experiment that we performed poetry on metro. Uh, running metro actually then we had open mic uh, on the metro station so that was fun so here we go uh, this is in three languages english hindi and marathi you are me i am you i see the mountains i see the sky i see my people with different colors religions and customs different like desert and snow living all over the planet one string that connects us is our culture and country. The string is as strong as you and me. You broken is me broken. You shaken is me shaken. You are me. I am you. You are me. I am you. Me fakta jivant nahi. Me zinda dila hai. Fakta swata saathi prani hi zaktaat. Mala prani parvat manus ani algad udnaarya panat. Dev baghai chahe. Ajanta Yalora, Taj Mahal, Konark, Maja Purwajanche Gita He, Himalaya Ani Sayadri, Maja Meet Ahe, Mala Mada Desh Fakta Baghaitsa Nahi Zagaitsa Ahe, Maja Tu Ahe, Tujat Mi Ahe, Maja Tu Ahe, Tujat Mi Ahe, Me Nahi Ji Rahahu Sirf Sapnome, Mene Deke He, Sapne Bi Sach Hotewe. Goma Teshwar ki uchaiya aur hampi ka saundariya mene dekha hai. Khajirao ke mandiro mein pyaar roshni aur adhyatma bhi dekha hai. Mujhe mera desh dekhna hi nahi purzor jina hai. Mujh mein tu hai, tujh mein mein hu. Mujh mein tu hai, tujh mein mein hu. Mujh mein tu hai, tujh mein mein hu. Thank you, thanks a lot. 
just just an announcement i've got to open mic every saturday at 9 pm india time it would be great if, if you can join uh, thank it's on zoom only thank you thanks a lot sure thanks a lot mr unmesh moiskar uh, it was really wonderful to listen and see languages uh, marathi hindi and english thanks a lot and uh, it, it was really a pleasure to listen to the appreciation the gaan of our nation thanks a lot now we have with us mr sridharan prakode with his poem mr sridharan prakode thank you thank you okay and uh, i extend my gratitude and uh, i am not going into detail as mentioned earlier but directly i am going to the poem yes my poem is titled as the noble sky the noble sky within brackets i can say the teacher is a noble sky the words delivered were sweet and meaningful the words delivered were sweet and meaningful students come to enjoy the spirit of speech in clusters students come to enjoy the spirit of speech in clusters those were not mere enthusiastic lip service those were not mere enthusiastic lip service but the glittering thoughts for the young future the glittering thoughts for the young future not monotonous and tiresome not monotonous and tiresome after the usual assembly sermon they are the interwoven desires of hearts from a path giver they are the interwoven desires of hearts from a path giver it will have stories of sophisticated behaviors about multi dimensional education and necessary means for the travelers it will have stories of sophisticated behaviors about multi dimensional education and necessary means for the travelers in them in them self selflessness described self help promoted peaceful coexistence exhibited peaceful coexistence exhibited the words are the stars in the noble sky the words are the stars in the noble sky my teachers are the stars in the noble sky thank you thank you Thanks a lot, sir, for your poem. They come to us in clusters to listen to us our stories, which are full of sensitivity and sophistication. We tell them truly, life is literature, and literature is life, and life itself is a teacher, a big teacher. Thanks a lot, sir. Now we have with Mr. Lakshmi. No, Didi. Hasn't joined. Hasn't joined. Hasn't joined. Okay. Now we have a uh, next one in the room, Doctor Sudipta Mishra. Doctor Sudipta Mishra. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Okay. May be audible. Yeah, definitely audible. Oh, thank you. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Maheshwar, Guru Sakhyat Param Brahma, Tasmai Sri Guru Venam, Tasmai Sri Guru Venam. Let me recite my poem. Teachers. they paint our lives with the bright rays of wisdom from the outer despair they drive us towards freedom they show us the paths of knowledge let's move our arrogant heads in front of such talents our days become bright with each lesson they educate they hold our hands till we need them but the rude ones pretend to deny and reject We forget their immortal instructions. Each day they struggle to make our future. 
by differentiating between fair and unfair, they become our guiding star. Away from the passage of the thoughtlessness, they alter the lives of neglected ones. A day has arrived to worship the enlightened ones. Let's hold our hands and pray for these glorious spirits. O oh, revered educators, I extend my gratification all for rendering us a great fortunes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Dr. Sudipa Mishra. We start with this day. Beginning with the place of Guru Brahma. Truly. So true. Guru is green all we can have to give us a direction in life. Now I would like to call upon Dr. Sultan Mohammed Rizda. Dr. Sultan Mohammed Rizda. Sultan and Mohanlal Verma has enjoyed. You are not here? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we would like to call upon Mr. Vasudhar Paul. Bas Mr. Vasudhar Paul. Yes. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. It's a pleasure to have you here. You keep on reading your poems in the fertile brain. Extending my warm thanks to all present here. And we have been here to recapitulate the teacher's day. As usual, we do every year. So before I recite my own poem, I want to recapitulate. When I think of my school days, the year gives of perfumed memories. I still remember my teacher full of vibes who would instill a love for vocab, love for reading, love for literary uses. Those days had been uneventful, but we were pristinely happy. Our demands are minimum. We couldn't explore new arrivals as we have today. The midway passed up very quickly and time spent imperceptibly got us gay. Today, as an English teacher, I try to instill the vibes and bone for enrichment. My students, friends, in a way we are the legacy of our predecessors. WhatsApp was not there. Facebook was not there. The smart machine was not there. Woods and population explosion was not there. People would not run helter skelter as we have been today. During the jijun, we could not grab the text, but our sky was clear, azure, Cerulean, no stain of fuss. This gave a joy that limits to a rueful end today. Now, I will read out my poem. Teacher's Day. Could a teacher be called talisman? What attributes a teacher better? What role does a teacher play? What does a teacher deserve at last? Does a teacher superannuate from life? Does a teacher teach even in the grave? Is the deceased given post posthumous title? So many epithets, so many words define teacher. But for sure, the teacher is at the center stage. Literacy is not possible since a te teacher was the beginning a self-taught teacher 
we are the descendants down the yon. Hierarchical, we have been, no doubt in it. A teacher is one who maps out the life and with the aspirants, freed upon it. Pedagogy breeds in, even at home. Schooling in any form, we learn on altar. Someone in someone's life was a teacher. Questions arise through the poetic lens. Is qualified teacher a quality teacher? Does quantity enhance the nature of schooling? Could patronymic nature change into metronomy? This must. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thanks a lot, uh, uh, Mr. Vasudev Paul. Really wonderful. And uh, with this, we come to the end of first class. And I give back uh, the event course. My back to the event host, Silpa Eta, ma'am, kindly take over for the second lab. Uh, thank you, Sunita. Thank you for hosting the first lab wonderfully. And you are a uh, very good poet as well as a good host. And as always, committed to the task. Uh, happy to see that all the poets had. And I ha I'm happy that this in this lab, they have uh, rendered the... Uh, very beautiful verses to honor the teachers. Everyone on yeah. them. Yeah, okay. it was a beautiful rendition uh, by all the poets. Now mm -hmm. I'll call up. Yeah, and thank you, Sunita, once again on behalf of the entire team. And uh, I'll again call upon Ms. Jenda, uh, the host for our second lap. Uh, Ms. Jenda. Can you please take over for the second lap? Hi. Happy Sunday and uh, you can take over the charge for the second lap. Uh, unmute yourself, Jenda. Unmute your mic. Unmute. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Guys, let's start our second lap with um, such valuable poets on this lap, honoring these great uh, professionals that are our teachers, okay? And I would like to start calling the Dr. Janeta Panihuta. Sorry if my... It's okay. It is not correct. Thank you. And Dr. Janata Ramanathan. Hello. Oh, be welcome, dear. Good evening. And thank you, each and everyone, for honoring the teachers because I belong to the teaching community. And this poem is You Are My Ithina. This is a dedication to all my teachers. Let me recite my poem You Are My Ithina. Goddess of knowledge, wisdom, and justice. Blessed to be under your tutelage. You are instrumental in making me. Salute you for you are the porters who molded me without any flaw. Wonderful guide, a role model, and a counselor. In a world full of distractions, you welcomed, inspired, and gifted me a priceless gift of education. An undying guide made me realize the true essence of life. You taught me to read and write. You're always there for me. You remember every little quick of mine, stood by my side, guided, and boosted my confidence, assured me that I'm unique, inspirational, and pushed me to follow my dreams, embodiment of love, fiction, and compassion. You held my hands and taught me how to walk in life. You made me walk on my own to learn the lessons ahead journey in life. You are the reason for my smile. You taught me the art of being a human. Thank you for probing into my intricacies. Your advice is like a healing balm even today. 
Thank you, my teachers. Wow, perfectly said, dear. Thank you so very much for your brilliant presence. Thank you, Dilda. Thank you. Now, I'm going to call uh, Mr. Pantas Panihuta, please. Come in. Are you there, mister? Mr. Pantas Panihuta. No memory. <coughs> you could move on, ma'am. Ma'am, I guess yeah. uh, some technical issues are happened. I can hear you. I can hear you well. Are you there, Mister? Hello. Are you ringing? Hello? <laughs> Ma'am, we could call on next participant. Okay. Let's go to next one. Please, Dr. Hina Padiati. Are you there? Yes. Um, thank you so much for the invitation. I want to particularly thank Mr. K. K. Kwasana, who's... Um, you know, uh, been instrumental in getting me to participate in this uh, great um, uh, occasion where we pay tribute to our teachers. And um, I, I think of teachers not simply as teachers um, at school, but also our um, lecturers and professors at university. Um, I think of um, all the people who teach us in, in so many ways, whether it's the journalist through his newspaper or the television reporter, or the people who write the books that have transformed our lives. So I, I pay tribute to all of them, but my particular poem is a tribute to our anti-apartheid teachers, uh, lecturers and professors. Um, I'm from South Africa, Durban. So the poem goes like this. Luminous gurus of light, passionately imparted the tools of survival. Our educators enabled us to fight against and survive the ceaseless apartheid onslaught. They were the selfless caring catapults that launched us in our war against the fascist shackles, hounded by spies, sneaks, psychopaths and informers. Our teachers still dare to support us, to speak the truth, to tell us of decolonized curricula. They were demoted, defamed and demonized but the educators still put their country before themselves. They were tortured and tormented, harassed and humiliated. They still devoted their lives to the liberation of our country. Theirs was a terrible gauntlet. They transformed crushed, brainwashed zombies into Hello? kernels of the the apartheid laws and our educators were the catalyst for the shattering of Mandela's shackles, for democracy to dawn at last in our own, our native land, South Africa. Thank you. Wow, awesomely written. Awesomely written. Thank you so very much for your presence. Thank and you. now, guys, we're going to call Dr. Mola Joseph. Dr. Molly Joseph, please. Are you there, dear? Yeah, I'm here very much, Jen. Nice to see you. Present your eyes, your, your uh, poem. So happy meeting you all, my poet pal. Uh, actually, thoughts of my teacher parents drown me, stop me when teachers they approach us. They were my torch bearers, my parents, both of them. Very loving teachers who showed me what a teacher should be. Now, after having towers 42 years of teaching, university level teaching in colleges, with a good number of students piping up from one corner or another, ma'am, happy teacher's day. What more is more rewarding a profession than being a teacher? Of course, when I go for motivational classes, 
as a teacher's teacher, there are certain things that I remind them. My first form is on that teacher. Ever since mankind started learning and growing, a teacher was there guiding, guarding learners on their way. More they learned through models set by them to practice whatever that was taught. Teachers turning to inspirers in action, not preaching empty rhetoric. Teachers, you mold mindsets like the one using the delicate twig to direct a leaf floating in water without the river knowing, the leaf not knowing. I repeat the image. Teachers, you mold mindsets like the one using the delicate twig to direct a leaf floating in water without the river knowing, the leaf knowing. The leaves float well directed. Generations pass by. How you leave imprints, teachers, invisible yet eternally felt in heart as centuries pass on. That's my first one. Here is another short one. Teacher too. Teacher, the gentle wind blowing through the green red garden where nays and buds swing and prod to each other, pricking your, pricking your mid-noon monotone. They appear distracted, but love you and listen on wells of abandonment so free. Ah, look deep into their eyes. Each a world by himself, herself. You can hear how waves slash over those shores that beckon. Patience, only patience matters. Thinned with love. They gather around you, the meek, innocent lamb, after the shepherd. Show them new pastures to roam, dreams afresh to weave, undaunted. Let them proceed, believing in themselves and the world, to fly free over man-made walls and barriers, like the benevolent cloud that floats all over, the pebbles that gather endless from the sea that spreads. Thank you, dears. Happy teaching. Wow. Day. Brilliant line is so beautifully recited by you, dear. Thank, Thank you so you. very much. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, now I'm going to call um, the Miss Mildred Pa. Please come in. Dear Mildred Pa, are you there? Mildred, are you there, dear? No. Let's let's call the next one. Um, so Dr. Ratangosh. Dr. Ratangosh, please. So let's skype. I'm going now so um, to call uh, Mr. Isaac Cohen. Is he there, Kumar? Dear Kumar, yes. are you there? Uh... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. okay. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Gelda. Welcome, dear. Welcome. And, uh, thank you, Kumar, and thank you, all my friends in the world. I the Cohen the product of giving. I visited at a child's home. 
I noticed said that were no books there. I said to him, I am giving you a book. If you read it, I will give you another book. The child read the book. I gave him another book. And one more and two and the letters entered his heart and he became a poet. How marvelous to see the product of giving. It gives encouragement to the child soul. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank, thank you so much for your, for your brilliant writing. Okay? Bye-bye. Yeah, and now, you. guys, I'm going to call uh, Miss Tanha Aschi. Mrs. Tanya has asked. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Gail. Oh, uh, you're welcome, <laughs> dear. Present it as your writing. Uh, yes, uh, happy teacher day. I'm Tanya Aitis from Canada, but also from Serbia. Uh, I would like to uh, read my poem. Dreaming may be living. Life is like a cycle, like a circle. Somewhere we die and somewhere we grow again. Every day, a new day is different and with us renew it. It's never the same. It is cyclical reincarnation. Every day, we knew in the old world life from beginning to end and that all over again in a circle into the vortex of the world after a dream that is over into a new dream with open eyes thank you wow awesome riverside namaste awesome. thank you thank you for your presence with us thank you well guys this lab is ending, and I'd like to thank all you that make part on this and to give you much love, peace, and a big hug. Come on, please. Hey, thank you, Zelda. Thank you for hosting this second lab wonderfully, and thank you for your presence as well as to the whole team of Fertile Brains, and I thank uh, on behalf of the entire team, again to you. And uh, now, uh, as uh, we move on, uh, I would like to call Miss uh, Nirmala Mahesh. Ma'am Nirmala Mahesh, are you there? Nirmala Mahesh, ma'am, are you there? Uh, hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening and happy Teacher's Day to you also. Yeah, and, same, uh, to you, same to everyone here. And now I'll hand over the charge of third round, hosting the third round to you, ma'am. So the uh, event is all yours uh, from here. So you can take over the charge and call upon the poets. Uh, okay. And, uh, welcome them. First of all, good evening and I wish everyone present here a very happy teacher's day and being a teacher myself I would like to just read out a very small poem if the time permits can I yes yes, yes you can please okay. it's dedicated 
to all the teachers who are struggling with the current technology and classroom management problems. So it is tied as 20th century classroom. So here I go. As teachers enter, students hardly bother to greet teachers saying good morning as they are engrossed in chatting. Smart boards outdate blackboards. Students easily get bored. By the time the concepts are delivered, teachers are completely exhausted. The teacher tries to discipline. Students, as usual, intervene, creating chaos to the core, forcing the teacher to roar. Few students gaze at teachers like a villain, failing to comprehend the teacher's vision. Teachers deliver notes and lessons online, yet some parents always complain. Parents intimidate teachers using social media, causing amongst teachers a phobia. Teachers are always questioned and targeted instead of being honored and respected. Thank you. It was a wonderful verse uh, to honor today's uh, time as well as you have very well mentioned the troubles we all faced during this pandemic and online uh, yeah. transformation. <laughs> and now you can begin with the third uh, third round and yeah. it was a wonderful verse again. Yeah, um, the lab given to me, the lab given to me, I call upon Mr. Richard. Uh, is he present here? Mr. Richard? No, ma'am, no, ma'am. He is not, he, he doesn't seem to be present here. Yes. So I call upon next, Mr. Hansmukh Mehta. Mr. Hasmukh Mehta. Is he here? Kalipada Goshan. Yes, Mr. Hasmukh Mehta. Yes, sir, please proceed. Okay, if he's not there, then Mr. Pratt. I'm not to hear. Hello. I call upon, I'm not able to hear anyone properly. There is some disturbance. I call upon Mr. Prasanna Bhatta. Yes, sir, please present your poem. We have Kalipada Gosher and Joan and Pride to Hasmuk. Ma'am, you could call upon Hasmuk Mehta or else uh, Joan. Okay. Is Mr. Hasmuk Mehta here? Or otherwise, Kalipada Ghosh. I saw him sometime back, but he's uh, not uh, like. I yeah. think there is a connection problem. You can move on to other po poets, ma'am. Okay. You can call upon other Mr. poets, Mr. Kalipada Ghosh and Mr. John, whoever is okay. available. Okay, Mr. Kalipada Ghosh, please, sir. <clears throat> yes, I am Kalipada Ghosh. Yes, sir. Welcome Good. to this. Good evening to all hosts and participants of the Fertile Brains. I extend my heartfelt gratitude and thankfulness for inviting me to join this uh, poetry festival on the eve of the Teacher's Day. And uh, I was uh, requested or invited to pay a tribute. Teacher, the word 
the dimension has a great dimension and acoustically theta d for truthfulness e for erudition a for academician c for cheerfulness and h for honesty e for enthusiasm r for truthfulness these are the seven attributes of a teacher and i would recite my poem a tribute to the teacher teacher is a sublime and dedicated soul and he is the backbone of the society teacher has a great dimension like that of an ocean he is the clairvoyant of light he is the central sun who dispels darkness and enlightens our visions a great teacher plays a vital role in society and in national level he is the guru who leads the ways of our life by molding our inner heart and soul he transforms our visions and darkness and dispels to dispels our darkness to enlightenment teachers are the best minds of the country dr sarvabulli radhakrishnan is the great teacher and philosopher thank you sir that was a very his birthday his birthday celebrated on the teachers day and he infuses Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I pay my deep respect. Thank you, to sir. To Dr. Bolli Ratha Kishan, the great teacher of our country. Thanks to all. And I would request you. Thank you, sir. Next to time, listen. I would I would I would request you to listen or eliminate me from this. fertile brains thanks to all thank you sir thank you there it was, was, it was an audio thing. issue sir there was an audio issue so it was not in uh, you know technical issue so i, I kindly you kind know, of forgive that so it was not an issue so thank please kindly forgive yeah. go ahead ma'am next i call upon uh, Mr. Hasmukh Mehta, if he's here, or Mr. Prasanna Bhatta, Dr. Prasanna Bhatta, sir. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, sir. Please. Okay. Voice was loud. So, should we read? Sweet personalities, I'm going to recite my poem. Keep short. You are karma. You are cheer and cheery. Ever memorable pictures day. Welcome every member. The novel and novel soon there. Today, what day? Tomorrow. But day of Dr. Sarvapali Radha Krishna, who honorably honor and respect to teacher as Indian. Indian history will never ever forget you and your karma. Join as a teacher and retire as a president is your super karma. Still, Indian history reminds us. The role of a teacher, how magnanimous the teacher is a super teacher. The holy day reminds me proudly, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Dev, Bhaskara, Guru Sakya, the Param Brahma, Tasme Sri, Guru Veda Baba. The relationship between Guru and Sishya, Acharya and Chhatra, teacher. And student, but now, but now, facilitator and felicitator. 
how pious and filial the relationship was between a guru and a shishya. Guru, who? Guru, who identifies the darkness? Ru defines the removal. Guru is a person who removes the darkness mentally and morally. A guru was known for shishya. A guru was known for shishya. Mahatma Vasishtya became famous for Lord Rama. Mahatma Shandipani was popular for Lord Krishna. Mahatma Vishwamitra was familiar for Great Karna. Plato for Aristotle, Aristotle for Alexander, Ram Krishna for Vivekananda. And our father and mother are proud of their children as past guru, as past guru. Generation changed, title changed. Generation changed, title changed. Guru changed to Acharya, Shishya changed to Chhatra. Chhatra brightened Acharya's name. As teaching was not inside books. As teaching was not inside books now. Daily past days memorized me. Teaching was not inside books. Due to downfall of education, came the relationship, came the relationship, teacher and student, both were confined with, both were confined with the classroom and books, no morality and no mentality. Now no guru, no acharya, no teacher. Now no guru, no acharya, no teacher. Only relationship, a facilitator, a facilitator and felicitator. A faculty, nowadays a faculty, a facilitator must do. A faculty or a facilitator must do what a felicitator wants, what the class demands, how students desire. Class is over, relationship is over, that is the end of a teacher. This is the end of my poem. Thanks a bunch of just mine for listening my poem. Thank you so much. Now upon Mr. Dharampal Thakur. I thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, we have uh, Joan and oh, yeah. Ritesh Pimple. Sir, please unmute yourself. Yeah. Uh, am I audible, ma'am? Yeah, actually, there was some confusion. No. First, uh, let Mr. Rampal talk out present. Then I'll call upon Mr. Richard Temple. Sir, please go ahead. Uh, good evening to all my fellow poets and thanks to Mr. Kumar and his entire team for the invitation. My poem is entitled True Teachers. Blessed are those students who are taught by true teachers, whose knowledge and sagacity serve as a beacon of hope for humanity. When sellers of spurious schooling don't care for those virtues and values which can't bring them publicity and prosperity. Don't care for those star students who can't pay them due to their poverty. True teachers make it their mission to motivate and make their pupils lovers of learning of great values like humility, hard work, truth, compassion, and caring. Also make them see the same divine spark in everyone. True teachers transcend their transience through their deserving disciples or books who spread the fragrance of their lives for ages. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
Uh, Ms. Nirmala, ma'am, can you call in another participant? Hello? 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 There is some technical disturbance. I called upon Mr. Richard Temple, but he is not there. So I then called upon Mr. Hansen. He is also not. He's Sorry, there, but he's not responding. Here, I am here. I, did, I didn't hear anything. It's yeah. breaking up very badly. <laughs> Would you like me to read? Sorry, I, it was breaking up very badly. I didn't hear my name. Richard, go ahead. Thank you. Richard, yeah, Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this is called Indeed the Teacher. Understanding, comprehending this crazy confusion, this dream and delusion requires communication, validation, value and reason of diverse experience, exploring, creating impossible potential, the essential cause, elemental force, interpretation of ultimate isolation requires division, precision and eventual assimilation. Our adventures are not for us, but are blended through vast lenses, molding futures and pasts, till once more we pass on and expand on the tales. The powerless reach out, speak out, teach us. Experience unshared is squandered and lost at a cost. Resistance to our existence, another lost instant between teacher and student. Eternal reinvention. Environmental contentions, conflicts, confusions, and hard fought conclusions, till every last one is the sun and the stars, and near and the far, and accept what we are indeed the teacher. Thank you. Well, thanks, thanks, Richard. Thanks. That's what terrible, you know, <laughs> network issue. I hope you understand. Sorry for the you know, <laughs> this issue. <laughs> Nirmala, ma'am. We have one left. Thanks. I Richard. think uh, Nirmala, ma'am, has some issue on the internet. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's. Oh, I. Uh, I think uh, Mr. John is also left, right? Yes, Miss John, Miss John. Miss John. Yeah. Uh, Miss John is left. Miss John is Can left. Can we have Miss John? Uh, hi, good evening, everyone. Happy Teacher's Day. Can anyone hear and, me? Yes, Miss uh, John, uh, welcome to the event and you can take uh, the Namaste. mic. Namaste. Namaste. Happy Teacher's Day to everyone. Thank you. Okay, my poem uh, title is Pedagogues. And this is all a tribute for all gurus in every form. Teachers, professors, coaches, mentors, and instructors, they are our unsung warriors, our dedicated educators, our second parents, the pillars of all professions. The enthusiastic pedagogues enlighten us with affections. They taught us from basic to master knowledge. They extracted and imparted their juices to our advantage. They enabled us and our children to shine in our chosen field while continually digging infusions for us to wield. What the world and us will be if we don't have them? Aside from our beloved family, they are also our gem. Aside from the food we eat, they give nutritious information as well to the brain. Hence, 
great extra activities and curriculums are a fraction of what we can attain. We ought to offer a complimentary salute for their act of selflessness. Let us appreciate and be grateful for their lofty devotedness. Thank you so much to all teachers. Wow, it was wonderful. Thank you, Ms. John. Thank you Thank for being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. Now I call upon Mr. Hansmuk Mehta, please, sir. We are eagerly waiting for you. Mr. Hansmuk Mehta. Sir, can you hear? Mr. Hansmuk Mehta. Sir, your voice again the issue, technical issue. I think we had a help uh, have you in the last call someone else who is in the line. Yeah, is Mr. Richard Faisak here? No, ma'am. Then I think uh, almost everyone has finished uh, who are there in the third lab. Then I hand over the mic to the person. Okay, thank, you. Yeah, thank you, Ms. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Nirmala uh, for uh, you, conducting and hosting the third lab. Uh, thank you. Now, uh, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. It was my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Parvez has joined or not? No, Didi. I think okay, I Okay, no issues. Uh, Sir, I have uh, joined. No issues. Uh, yeah, she is joined. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I have joined. Yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah, yeah. Hello Mr. Parvez. Uh, happy to see you here uh, in this event. And thanks uh, for being uh, part of the Fertile Brains team also. And uh, on, the, on behalf of the entire team, I would like to thank you. Uh, for joining in the event as well as conducting and hosting the fourth lap. So I just hand over the charge of hosting the fourth lap to you. I hope you have the list of uh, members, right? Mr. Parvez. Ma'am, he is, <laughs> Didi, he is the, uh, someone else, he is someone else. <laughs> okay. But if you can give okay, me a no chance, problem. I can go ahead. Uh, you can go ahead, okay. sir. You can go ahead. You can go ahead. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pantas, uh, Mr. Pantas, right? No, ma'am. I am Lakshman Rao. <laughs> okay, Lakshman Rao. Uh, so I call upon Mr. Lakshman Rao to recite the verse. I did not uh, see who was uh, there on the mic. Okay, Mr. Lakshman Rao, go ahead with your verse. Uh, welcome to the poetic event. Please well, take charge. Well, I don't think like I need any introduction to uh, explain about me. Well, this is my poem titled as Profound Poetry. Profound Poetry. The very word poetry sounds rhythmic as rhyme. The very word poetry sounds rhythmic as rhyme. As though conscience reciting their rhyme. As though conscience reciting their rhyme. As if the pebbles, pebbles, sorry. As if the pebbles giving tunes to the stream. As if the pebbles giving tunes to the stream. As in thoughts transforming a poet's dream. Honestly, the absence of my mind Honestly, in the absence of mind, I don't know what poetry is all about. Honestly, in the absence of mind, I don't know what poetry is all about. I am yet to unform if any poet can find. In the presence of mind as well, I doubt. What is this? What makes me know that this is poetry? What's that that makes me know that this is poetry? Those which make me flow in symmetry. Those which makes me flow in symmetry. Is that the spark of a notion that makes this choice? Is that the spark of a notion that makes his choice in the most beauteous mindset, the most beauteous mindset where I find this mind voice, where I found this mind voice. Poetry, where are you thee? Wherefore are thee? My impulse, my passion, my savior, and my profound. Poetry, wherefore are thee? My impulse, my passion, my savior, and my profound. So it ends with a question mark as well. 
like wherefore are you my poetry wherefore are you as my passion that's all good right ma'am i have finished ma'am yeah thank you uh, mr lakshman for joining in and reciting such a wonderful verse uh, honoring the teachers uh, now i'll uh, take charge of the fourth lap and uh, i'll just call one by one the poets who will be reciting the poems today to honor the teachers we have, and uh, we have left i know uh, previous one you know pentas is there mildred is there you go yeah i'll 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 call upon those who are left in between. Just uh, Mr. Pantas has been left, right? Yes. Yes. Pantas is here now. Pantas. I'm here. Okay, Mr. Pantas from the second round. Mr. Pantas, Pangi Hutton. Uh, can you please uh, recite your verse? All right. Uh, am I audible? Yes. All right. Thank you. Good evening to all. renowned poet uh, all global poet and uh, thanks to prasanaji for for giving me the time to recite my poem on this teachers day happy teachers day to all teachers of the world title teacher oh teachers you are the light in the darkness a walking stick for the blind a guide for the perverted souls you are the hero of humanity you are like an excellent sculptor your hand is like a painter which brings beautiful colors of works you teach us meaningful of words and numbers teach us to be smart and wise teach us to be a real human beings shape us with your genuine of love human civilization is in your hands you are the artist of humanity i'll always remember you always on my mind without you i likely as a flower that grows wild without you my life means nothing make me a shining star million of thanks dedicated to you happy teachers day thanks for listening good evening Uh, thank you mr pantas uh, for this for your wonderful recitation as well as uh, honoring your teachers as well as the way you have uh, mentioned that teachers are a light for everyone yes they are the light and they show uh, the path to all the students and uh, uh, anyone else left brother from the previous round or shall i start calling for the mildred 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 Okay, Mr. Uh, Mildred Parr, uh, can you please recite your verse? Hello, <laughs> hello everyone. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Let me thank you. So I've written something. It was published. It was posted recently, but I like it. Hi. The title. Uh, can you hear me now? No. Am I okay? Uh, yes, you are audible, but uh, I think someone else is uh, unmute. Mr. Mook Mehta, in between, he is just okay, ma'am. You can recite the verse. Can you please tell me when to begin. It's really hard. To... Okay, shall I begin? Like it, yeah. Mildred, Ma- Mildred, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. Good to go. Teachers, okay. Teachers are fantastic. Teachers in the class are fantastic. The say is words like magic. It's the right tool, wit, and facility. 
students that engage is productivity. Nothing beats loads of fun activity when teachers execute with clarity. Students learn without even trying. They are learning much as if enjoying. I challenge students in a word joust to see if they can defend their stand. Such word battle, they don't want to miss. It shows their quick wit, so we press it. I make them tour with photographs, write a travelogue, interesting stuff, as if they've been there all their lives, make them imagine what it feels like. Oh, come to my class and let's both learn. My passion to share never ever lessen. I will try to discover much so I can share to the students I love because I much do care. Uh, this is my personal uh, communication. It's a fantastic verse, Ms. Mildred. Uh, thank you for your wonderful verse and uh, thanks for joining this event and um, making this event a wonderful uh, event also. And now, uh, Mr. Parvez, uh, hi, and uh, are you there and are you ready? Hello, and uh, thank you. I thank you for joining in for the fourth round and I would like to give that to you uh, for this fourth round. So, mic is yours. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Parvez, you are on, uh, you are on mute. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Yes, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, Shilpa, Jayesh, Dadia, uh, I'm grateful to you and uh, uh, honorable persona, sir, that given me a chance to host the program. And it is my <clears throat> uh, very uh, good chance to uh, host the program, although I, am, I don't have any experience, but I would try my best to carry out the program. So we all are in the learning stage. Yes. We all are in the learning <laughs> learning stage only. Yeah, that is a great thing. It feels very great if given yeah. a chance. And uh, I am really grateful to Persana sir that he always given such a new person to come and host the program. That is a great thing. So once again, I'm thankful to him. Chime in a uh, virtual meet. Fourth lab. And now I want to uh, begin this uh, uh, fourth lab. And I would like to uh, welcome all of you. We have been uh, reciting our poem and sharing our poem uh, with uh, each other, uh, like uh, such kind of uh, <clears throat> virtual meet uh, uh, for my last few months because I'm uh, new to this uh, fertile brains. But still, I feel very familiar to all of you because of uh, the Facebook. I've been uh, reading uh, your poems. So <clears throat> should I start? Persona sir is there because I am not able to see him. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, you can start, Mr. Parvez. Okay. You can start calling the other poets. Okay. So, uh, you have the list, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, I would like to uh, invite Miss Hira Nawaz. If she is there, Mrs. Hira Nawaz or Miss Hira Nawaz. I think she is not there. Okay. Because uh, there are um, uh, 11 uh, participants in this uh, fourth lab. Yeah. I would like to read out their name first of all. So Hira Nawaz, uh, Mr. Aftab Tariq, uh, Jennifer Garnett. Yeah, yes, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Lata Prem Sakya, uh, Saraswati Oswal, Ms. Padma Sitaluri, and 
मिस कमर सुल्ताना शेख मिस्टर राजेश शर्मा मिस्टर रेनु कुंतला मुराली मिस नीना जारकोवा मिस डोलरेस लैपिनिट एंड मिस श्वेता सीमा आहिरा एंड लास्ट वन इज माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर परवेज शहरियार सो I would like to invite once again Miss Hira Nawaz. If she is there, please come and share your poem. We are waiting for you. I think she is not there, uh, Mr. Parvez. You can call upon Miss. Okay. Then, okay. The next uh, one honourable poet is Mr. Aftab Tariq. You are most welcome and invited to read out your poem, Mr. Aftab Tariq. He is not there, I think. Aftab Tariq. He is also not there. The third uh, honorable poet, poetess, is uh, Miss Jennifer Garnes. Thank Ms. you. Uh, my him. poem, my poem is titled "Teachers, I Owe You." Dear teachers, without you, where would I be in this capitalistic world, fawning on politicians and millionaire achievers? Without you, where would I be in this selfish, brutal world, ignoring the plight of the poor and illiterates? I owe you my ability to read the ABC, to learn about my forefathers' history to study and retain the knowledge of books, to write exam papers, job application letters, to work diligently, honestly. Teachers, I owe you every cent I have earned toiling at my so-called white collar office job. I owe you my ability to sustain myself in this materialistic world. The trouble-free life I live today, I owe you. I bow before you. Thank you. Wow. So significant and beautiful hello. poem hello. dedicated hello. to hello. your teacher. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. My, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. My name is Ms. Hira Nawaz. You call my name, but then you, I wasn't able to get back. So can I can I recite my poem now? Okay, uh, Miss Hira Nawaz. Okay. Good evening, everybody. My mm. name is Miss Hira Nawaz. Mm -hmm. I have studied in Bishop Cotton Girls School, Jyoti Nawaz College, and Mount Carmel College in Bengaluru, and I had some of the most fantastic teachers. In fact, they were so proactive. You can and can start with the poem. You can start with your poem because we okay. have very less time. Okay. When I was an impressionable student at Jyoti Nevas College, Mrs. Rebecca Matthews, our literature teacher, inspired us with her knowledge. The JNC team of English teachers were a proactive team of five. They were responsible and proficient, turning their classes wholesomely alive. Rebecca, ma'am, ma'am, students of Shakespeare and, and a play. Teacher, and a play. Her erudite expertise molded our minds like pots of clay. We learned the intricacies of Shakespearean Victorian English style. I recall those days vividly as she built my literary knowledge tile by tile. Rebecca, madam, was a quintessential teacher, beautiful, brilliant, and smart. She perfected the art of teaching and honed it like a fine verbose art. She taught us the comedy play, A Midsummer Night's Dream. She knew she had to be alert for she was dealing with Bengaluru society's scream. She was the perfect lecturer, and she was also a proficient wife. She bore her family a cute daughter after 10 years of married life. 
Now their daughter is beautiful, lithsome, and awe-inspiring girl. Like mother, like daughter, she's like a cultured pearl. So this is a poem about my teacher, Mrs. Rebecca Matthews, who is one of the most inspiring teachers and who inspired me to become a teacher. Thank you so much. Nice poem, ma'am. Uh, beautiful and uh, uh, skillfully dedicated to your uh, love, lovely teachers. Uh, great to hear your uh, poem. Thank you so much. Yes. Now I'd like to uh, invite the next poet. Her name is Mrs. Latha Prem Sakya. Please come and share your poem. I think she I is not repeat, there. I will, yeah, I will repeat her name, Latha Prem Sakya. If she is there, please come and read out your poem. Okay. Brother, uh, uh, I think uh, Mr. Parvez, he, she is not there. You can call yeah. No, no, I am there. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. You are welcome. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Today... Ma'am, you are muted. Unmute yourself. Yeah. Nasa Prem Sakya, please. Can you hear me now? Yes, now you are audible. I'm going to recite a poem on my teachers. The title mm -hmm. is My Teachers and it is a poem of gratitude to mm -hmm. each and every one who molded me. My teachers, teachers precious parade through my inner eyes. My mother, first teacher of love to God and man. My father, life lessons from punctuality to discipline, to strive for the sun, to transcend barriers of limitations, to love mother earth, to cherish plants, trees, and animals, to give liberally, to be bold and courageous, to face the classes, encourage me to paint, to master difficult subjects, to read widely and become better human being. My siblings taught me to accommodate adjust and forgive. My husband's patience and balanced outlook made me practical. My, my daughter taught me to look from the point of view of the younger generation. My grandsons guided me to think and view things from the angle of innocent children. My friends encouraged me to soar higher and higher. My pets taught me unconditional love. When I narrow everything down, I find a teacher in all. When I narrow everything down, I find a teacher in all. On this auspicious teacher's day, I pay my tribute to all my teachers. Thank you for the patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Lata Prem uh, Sakya, ma'am. Uh, your poem was really beautiful and very meaningful also. So we see a uh, teacher in everyone and we learn from cradle to grave. This is a uh, throughout uh, learning process and uh, your poem is rightly dedicated to everyone. Thank you once again. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now the next uh, poet, uh, poet is, she is uh, uh, Miss Padma Sita Luri. If she is there, please, you are invited here to come and share your poem with all of us. Padma Sita Luri.
Padma Sita Luri. If you are there, please come and recite your poem. She's not there. She's not there. You can call Saraswati post one. Okay, ma'am. No, I am <clears throat> there, Sultana. Come on, ask us it, Padma. Okay, okay. Yes, I, I was not able to see you. Hmm. I am there very much. Okay. Okay, next one is Kamar Sultana. So you are uh, very cordially invited to come out, come and uh, share your poem with all of us. Kamar Sultana shares. So much. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, this poem is dedicated to uh, the coronavirus, whom I call the Hatted Guru. Hmm. So, Hatted Guru, coronavirus, namaste. The divine within me bows to the divine within you. For lessons invaluable, thank you. O wearer of the corona halo, teacher of the age of internet of things, the deer and the dolphin, the civet and the swan are spotted on the traffic-free roads and cleaner waters. The cleaner air now occupies my lungs. I feel a healing. I have found the time for house cleaning and I find I like it better. Conversation with crows is now common and my feline family members are delighted to stay on my lap. I eat the vegetables with more respect. Fruits are deemed a luxury. You have pressed the reboot button of civilization. Humankind will now decide what to save and what to delete of their species, habits, and lifestyle. Mercury in Sagittarius, Saturn fading. Was Nostradamus indeed referring to you? Altruistic pandemic with an El Nino effect. Are you the Y2K bug of disruption in the bio program of the planet? The post pandemic mix is what I too wait to see. This cataclysmic shock to our culture. Will it usher a new wave of a new people, strong in their vulnerability? Conquering the real pandemic, that of fear. Rising as a brave new world, we thank you, coronavirus, hearted guru. Thank you so much, Kamar Sultana, Sheikh, uh, for your uh, such a meaningful poem. And uh, our situation also teaches us something. So we have... Uh, dedicated your poem to uh, coronavirus, which has uh, taught us how to live neat and clean. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Excuse me. You have Saraswati Ji as there in the line. Saraswati hmm. Ji. 36 number. 34. After Lata Prem, Sar Saraswati is there. I am here. I am here. Jai Nursery day. Mm -hmm. 28, then number 28, I think. Ma'am, we'll call you later, ma'am. After finishing the fourth lap. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so now, because uh, the fourth lap has started. So after finishing this lap, uh, once again, the remaining poet will be called and invited to okay. read okay. their poem. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now the uh, next uh, poet is Mr. Rajesh Sharma. Mr. Rajesh Sharma, if you are there, you are invited to come and read out your poem. Sir, we missed... Hello, happy evening to you all. Am I audible? Excuse me, sir. We missed uh, Saraswati Pushwal in the middle. After Lata Prem Shikshya, Saraswati uh, ma'am should come. Saraswati Pushwal. Uh, Saraswati Pushwal was uh, at the number of 34. If she is there, uh, uh, she can uh, read out her poem. Sarsati Oswal. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Please Good recite your poem. Hmm. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you yeah, to Vaisharya sir, K. Yeah. Kumar sir, Shilpa ma'am for inviting me to this show. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, I'd like to wish you all happy Teacher's Day. I'm mm -hmm. going to recite my poem. The title of my poem is Teachers. Teacher, sometimes I think of my teachers who are truly so divine. Sometimes I think of my teachers who are truly so divine. They carried the positive attitude with creative art. They impressed with the soulful smile and adorned the children when they cried. Mm -hmm. They solved the problems and how to lead the life 
helping their children. They were true guides. They helped in constructing the future. They are miraculous angels of our lives. Mm-hmm. Lucky are we who learn firstly from them to hold pen in our lives. And we know the value of pen is taught by them. We learn the morals of humility, humbleness, and gratitude taught by them. I remember those teachers who shared the stories, who inspired us to carry our goals for life. I thank to every teacher who taught me some lesson for life, enlighten us with the treasure of knowledge to shine in our goals and life. Thank you so much. This was a tribute from my side. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Saraswati Poswal uh, ji, for your uh, such a beautiful poem. And uh, it is true that uh, uh, we learn from others. Otherwise, we cannot uh, learn the moral values my, ourselves. So it is uh, our teacher who make us learn how to carry out the uh, socialist standard and value system. So. Once again, thank you and congratulations to you. Now I will uh, invite uh, Mr. Rajesh Sharma. If you are there, please come and share your poem with all of us. Am I audible? Am I audible to you? Yes, you are audible. Uh, Your good name, please. My name is Rajesh Sharma. I'm from yeah. Telangana. Huh? Yes, yes, please, please come. I'm going to recite my poem titled Teacher, Kindly Accept My Gratitude. The title uh, of my poem welcome. is Teacher, Have My Gratitude. Here I go with my poem. You nurture the new green sprouts, encourages and leads the children. They pamper the child in school garden whenever they have doubts. A teacher is like summer, who is temperament, uh, sunny temperament, makes studying a pleasure, preventing discontent. A teacher is like fall, with methods crisp and clear, lessons of bright colors, and a happy atmosphere. A teacher is like winter, when it's snowing hard outside, keep students comfortable as a warm and helpful guide, does all these things with a pleasant attitude Teacher is for all seasons. Hence, please, teacher, kindly have my gratitude. Happy Teacher's Day in advance to you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rajesh Sharma, for your uh, such a beautiful uh, poem and uh, the style of uh, reciting your poem. And uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Hmm. Happy thank teacher. you, Prasanna, sir, for giving me hmm. for this wonderful opportunity to Fortin Branch also. Thank you, hmm. thank you all. So happy Teacher's Day, you too. In advance. Uh, next uh, poet in our list is Renu Kuntla Murali. Please mm-hmm. come and uh, recite your poem, Mr. Renu Kuntla Murali. Good evening, all. Good evening. I am audible, sir, and visible. Yes, yes, very much. Happy Teacher's Day. Hmm. Same to you, sir. So my my hmm. present famous teacher is the Lord. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deho, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshya, Parabrahma, Trashmarsi, Guru De Nama. Guru is the Brahma. Guru is the Vishnu. Guru is the Vishwara. Guru equal to God according to English. Mother is my first teacher. Mother is my first teacher. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Oh, my honorable teacher. You are my God. You are my Lord. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Oh, my honorable teacher. You are my God. You are my Lord. You have powerful words. Make a good decision. You have powerful words. Make a good decision. 
Renu Kuntla ji, you are not audible now. Is there any problem? Not audible. Not audible. Problem is, you are my little mother. You are the motivator. You are the little mother. You are the motivator. With your own person, we will go ahead with you. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Oh, my honorable teacher. Teacher, 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 oh my honorable teacher, you are my God, you are my Lord. You are the only knowledge, you are the body, you are the necessity, you impress things. Teacher, 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 oh my honorable teacher, you are my God, you are my Lord. You are an idol to enlighten our lives. You are an idol to enlighten our lives. You are now supreme to entertain joy and dignity. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Oh, my honor teacher, 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 oh, my honor teacher, you are my God, you are my love, you are the most good. I think he's gone, sir. <laughs> to move out. So. Yeah, personally, I think uh, there is some uh, technical problem yes, yes. because uh, now he is not audible at all and even not visible to us. Okay. Mm. Sir, you can go ahead, sir. Okay. Renu Kuntla ji, if you are listening to us, please, you are not visible to us on your video. I think he has finished his song. It was a really beautiful song dedicated to teacher. Teacher is heart and teacher is love. So I'm um, thank you, Renu Kuntla ji. Parsanaji, should I call the other uh, poet? Ji ji sir, ji go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Uh, the next, the next poetess is um, uh, Mrs. Nina Zarkova. Mrs. Nina Zarkova. I think she is also not here. Bisho, Bisho will be reading. Yes, Isaac, Isaac Cohen will be reading that. Isaac. Mm. 
So, Isaac, kindly unmute your mic. So, uh, Miss Nina Garkova, if you are there, please, you are invited. Come and share your poem. Uh, maybe she can't uh, connect. So, uh, sorry. Okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, thank you, yeah. Biju Prince, for information. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The next one is uh, Miss Dolores Lipinit. Miss Dolores Lip Lip uh, Lapinit. Sorry, sir, she hasn't joined. She hasn't joined. Okay, no problem. The last one on uh, in our uh, in our list is uh, Mrs. Shweta Darsima Ahi Ahira. I think she is also not there. I think her poem was Hello. already read by Jayasri. Hello. Jayasri. You can call Jayasri. Hello, sir. Good evening. Shweta, okay. Good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you, Prasanna, sir, uh, for inviting me for this event. And before starting my poem, uh, I extend my gratitude to all the teachers who were present here. So I go with my poem. Uh, title is played as an avatar of zombies, and the teachers appeared as strangers that made us panic. The classroom and the benches, the only enemies. Now we reminisce with stretched smile. Whenever legs began to run away from the class, you made us sit, introducing its definitions. You mm -hmm. colored the hidden drawing and lightened the well-wired bulbs. You taught us to hold the pencil with only three fingers. When the middle finger escaped from the point, your finger kick alarmed our growing brain. You made us learn. You fill our stomach with nutritious knowledge. Today we continue the chain. To nourish our tarnished brain, but always your thirst left unknown. You are always remembered, dear teachers. Thank you. That's all from me, sir. Mm. Thanks for hearing. Yeah, thank you so much for your uh, such a beautiful uh, poem, Shweta. Excuse me, Shweta is supposed to read Seema Ahira, Ahira ma'am's uh, Yes, sir. So I go with uh, Seema Ahira ma'am's poem. So her title is Guru Bhyo Namha. Great teachers are born and not made. They teach us to forego our pride and teach the lesson of quiet fortitude and leave a mark that is indelible. Their words echo in moments of doubt, setting me on the path right. The roads I travel are arduous and my heart heavy with untold burdens. The tiny flicker of hope continuously burns, brightening my path in the darkest of nights. I salute the many educators staring with my mother, the many guides and mentors, my husband and my children. Thank you. That's all from Seema Hira, ma'am. Yeah, it was a really beautiful poem and you have recited it uh, Hello, sir. quite uh, impressive way. Congratulations to you, Shweta. Prasanna, sir, I think Aftab Tariq is not there. So I'm leaving him. And uh, Padma Chetaluri is also not there. Nina Zarkova and uh, Dolores Lapinit. Uh, she is also you not there. You can call Ms. Jayashree Ray. Uh, she is there waiting. She was in the third uh, round. Did the first day uh, could call upon the second lap. We have David, Rick, okay. and yeah. David first. We can okay. call upon David. And then yeah, we'll yeah. Have. And Pardana, so uh, sir, I will seek your permission. If uh, given permission, I would like to share my poem also, which yeah, is yeah. Uh, composed <laughs> in, uh, for the. Sure, sure, uh, my, sure, sure. Okay, the title of my poem is uh, My Best Teacher, uh, Mohsin Khan. Mohsin Khan was uh, my uh, class teacher when I was read, uh, reading in uh, class uh, four and five middle school. So this poem is dedicated to him. Uh, whatever I am today, an editor, poet, or writer, 
that could be possible due to my teacher. My teacher was not an ordinary person. He was my lifeguard. He was my mentor. God has given me two precious gifts. One was my mother. The other was my teacher. He has taught me how to write a story. He himself was an excellent storyteller. Once I could not contribute to his school souvenir, whereas he was the souvenir's chief editor. However, he appreciated me personally for my honesty because unlike others, I was not an imitator. That appreciation motivated me so much as today I am a world famous poet and writer. Now I can blog, tweet and share my poems only because he made me a creative writer. Today, India celebrates Teacher's Day. Actually, it is written for 5th September. So it is uh, coming here like that. Today, India celebrates Teacher's Day on the 5th of September. My homage is all dedicated to my best teacher. No one can know in the true sense about the God. No one can know in the true sense about the God if there would not be any God's messenger. Although a teacher is not God's messenger, but he guides us on how to lead a life full of adventure. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. And thank you, Prasanaji, for having called upon me uh, so late. I'm leaving for work in five minutes. Uh, okay, thank you so thank so you. much. This is uh, a poem. You, uh, for this is uh, for Sri Kundalini, the supreme teacher. She taught me to calmly face the fire that consumes my entire spine. To let my brow bow toward the golden column of light that rises from the base of the spine the crown of the head. Kundalini is her Sanskrit name, she who is coiled within everyone. But I see her as the power that directs the divine machine of every planet in orbit, each plant stitched into soil, all beings that breathe and the still life of the supposedly solid world. She is the primordial guru of all great gurus. She is the God of God, an honor to carry her power within me wherever I walk. May it make me humbler than humility itself to glimpse Kundalini's realm of calm, which rests within everyone. The true root of this universe spreads her luminous shoots throughout my warm human form and expresses herself as my character, troubadour and jester, happily a foreigner on any corner of earth. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Very beautiful poem. Thank you, Mr. David Liu Sroyes. Congratulations to you. But Sanna sir, I don't know. My who are the poets to call now. So somebody help me. You finished your lab, sir. Thank you for hosting this fourth lab. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe Shilpa Didi will be taking up the charge. Otherwise, you know, I would like to call up one uh, oh. Dr. Rupali Sharukar, ma'am. He is very uh, one hours. So Rupali, ma'am. Uh, th thank you, Prasanna. It was wonderful listening to uh, can you all hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, it's been wonderful listening. You know, I've been listening to all the poets and the tributes given to the teacher. Teacher's Day is special also for the teacher to uh, think about the profession or the vocation. We don't have a profession, but the vocation we have taken. And uh, this is a poem that I wrote uh, in 2002. 
uh, when I had was to go to to a small little place in Germany called Erfurt, uh, where I was to read a paper at a conference. But just a few days before that, a young boy uh, uh, studying in a school killed 12 of his teachers. He took a gun and he was expelled from the school uh, for not doing well, not getting good grades. So he went and shot his teachers dead. Now, when I went to Erfurt, the whole town was grieving. You know, it was a, it was a morning. It was a town that was morning. And at night, I wrote this poem. But then I thought of that young boy. I mean, the teachers were killed, but why? So I really asked that question. So this poem is a short poem called O Erfurt. So it is uh, addressed to the city. Lonely stalker, what silence stopped the footsteps of your failure? Those fingers whose softness once curled inside mother's womb, soft as the grief-stricken flowers which lie scattered at the nailed feet of an agonized Christ. The beautiful church, you know, and Christ there, and there were all these flowers, and the people were crying. When did those fingers grow iron fists of hate and anger? Who helped them to grow? In the dark caverns of our minds, nowhere there to touch. The wise denied their wisdom, turning your head away from the Magi's path. They let you wander in the zigzag contours of a maze of terror. Those hands were not as soft as yours. They were calloused and stained in cyanide. Those hands steeled yours with insanity, filling your outstretched palms with gunpowder. They taught you about death and nothing about life. Oh, Erfurt, far away from my land, I have heard your heart beat. The blood that was spilt was mine too. Your flowers will bloom again, and the cobbled streets which wind their way up the stairs, where teardrops glisten in the flickering candlelight, will fill with laughter again. Thank you so much. So this is for teachers who uh, turn away the students. We are here to help them. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Rupali, for this wonderful words and also uh, highlighting upon the event, uh, which has uh, happened really. And it was a very uh, sad uh, thing that uh, teachers were killed rampantly by the students uh, in such a horrible uh, way. We keep hearing about all these incidents, but still, uh, the job of the teacher and the uh, teachers are uh, incessantly and continuously doing their work uh, to better the future of the kids and students. Uh, now, uh, thank you for joining as well as remaining here uh, for the whole of the event with us. And uh, I would like to call Ms. Jayashri Ray also who has missed in her chance in between. Can you please unmute and uh, recite your words? Thank you, ma'am. Good evening to all my friends. Thank you. My grandmother, my grandmother, my teacher, she was of her and guide. Still I fear her in my every aspect of life. Her knowledge of reflection brightened brighten me. This poem for a, a word of promise. My grandmother, my philosopher, friend and guide, she is still now in my heart. She is still now alive in every aspect of life. A word of promise to my grandmother. The word uttered a word of promise that night. I heard it, the sound of emancipation for your progeny. With the message of welcome to your indomitable spirit. It was certainly not a sunlit noon, nor a lifeless dawn. Nor it was a dry, barren life. Yes, 
you deserve the accolade. You will be born and reborn as a newcomer every time. You will be an exception, solitary, distinct, and irrevocable. You certainly will be that one and the only one, a living spirit that omnipresent. Yes, it was a promise. That was the word of acceptance uttered by the world that night for you and your progeny. The world uttered a word of promise that night, a word uttered, a word of promise. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Jayashree, for your wonderful uh, verse as well as your memories with your uh, teacher as well as your grandma. Now, uh, I'll, uh, I would like to call Mr. Rick uh, to recite his verse. Uh, Mr. Rick, can you take the charge? Yes. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. I have two tributes to teachers. They're pretty short. This first one is to a teacher in Russia who tried to teach her students a little bit more about freedom than, than they were ready for. Irena Jen, teacher and friend. Irena Jen, teacher and friend, hoped to share with her pupils this blended end. She wanted to say in her class that day, despite propaganda that cannot delay the facts on the ground that are everywhere found. Despite propaganda, the journey resound. Ukrainians didn't attack themselves and blow up the hospitals where mothers and babies and soldiers with rabies will in some broken future dwell in hells more. Is that what we're for? Even after the crimes of Stalin's laughter, must we repeat again and again after and deny and denounce our family and friends she was recorded by pupils who resorted to the disorders you resorted again to turn her in for her many and various sins, like telling the truth on the roof. But in the past of the class, she was recorded and her disorder reported to the cops and the mob, just doing their job to repeal with their ominous, calamitous, unanimous zeal beyond all appeal. No room for truth in baby Ruth's drawer. It's truth they abhor. There in their tiny empty store where the West has shut up, all the cluttering, clanking truth, but they're not quite outflanking. Irina, the teacher, has seen a, she doesn't blame her students. She was only half surprised by the sparkling darling, the lives living in their sudden moldy eyes. They'd been so well trained, got them and molded them and brought them. So only the refrain, darling, make it plain, is the state right? And surely and purely as day is night, turn in your teacher. Who is she, this creature, to deny what she saw? Isn't there a peasant chair, some kind of law that she broke when she spoke? What she saw, goddamn outlaw. No, she's no teacher anymore. She knows what's in store for someone who reaches and with their soul teaches the whole truth intact. Unfortunate fact, wandered beyond the insidious idiot, idiot spawn, denying the lying she dared the state. Let there be no mistake. She spoke there with hope where none was expected and finally rejected. Irena spoke the truth to her class. So he who is and who will pass. Thank you. To the teachers, to all of you teachers, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rick, uh, for your wonderful words as well as your gratitude towards the teachers and also speaking about the freedom and its values. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Gangalakshmi Patnaik to recite her words. Uh, Dr. Gangalakshmi Patnaik. Yes, please, madam. Uh, Yes, madam. Thank you. And I'm sorry for keeping you waiting for so long. Okay. 
good evening everyone on the eve of teachers day september 5th i wish happy teachers day in advance dear friends in india september september 5th is celebrated as teachers day as a tribute to the contributions made by teachers dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan india's former president scholar philosopher bharat ratna awardee was born on this day he is a great teacher from whom all of us have learned much and will continue to learn i would like to read the poem and caption is an eulogy to teachers all my life i have been listening voices of my teachers little or more all my life i have been listening voices of my teachers little or more both from within and without yet such voices make me human to core both from within and without yet such voices make me human to core certain things teachers injected i am sure do not go away or if i go if go away activate magnets of curiosity peculiarity oddity and affect the students with beyond eternity certain things teachers injected i am sure do not go away or if go away activate magnets of curiosity peculiarity oddity and affect the students with beyond eternity behind every successful architect fabricator inventor manager or doctor there are teachers teachers behind every successful architect fabricator inventor manager or doctor there are teachers teacher a good teacher is like burning candle consumes itself for welfare of others a good teacher is like burning candle consumes itself for welfare of others medical practitioner treats patients architect plays key role in construction teacher fabricates nation medical practitioner treats patients architect plays key role in construction teacher fabricates nation teacher like an agronomist grazier plant seeds of curiosity inquisitiveness inclination inspiration motivation teacher like an agronomist grazier plant seeds of curiosity inquisitiveness inclination inspiration motivation on this day i pay my obeisances homage to great teachers of repute on this day i pay my obeisances homage to great teachers of repute welcome each day with warm smile thank teachers the guiding force of lifetime welcome each day with warm smile thank teachers the guiding force of lifetime now my reading of the poem is over in conclusion i conclude that teachers are the angels who enlighten our lives with the light of knowledge and wisdom wishing my teachers immense joy happiness and prosperity my thanks thank you thank you uh, dr gangalakshmi patnaik for calling the teachers as guiding angels as well as your own homage to the teachers it was a wonderful recitation on your part uh, now i would like to call upon mr prabhat uh, can i have uh, mr prabhat uh anita sharma i'll call uh, next name miss anita sharma ji okay uh, i can see uh, prabhat prabhat are you there prabhat kumar mehra please unmute yourself and recite your words can you please unmute unmute your mic you are not audible okay now now you can recite okay i am i am audible now yes yes you are audible thank you very much madam but i am not prabhat kumar mehra but prabhat kumar mishra from jagannath okay, puri odisha <laughs> okay a fast fast Uh, 
ಹಾಕ್ಲ ಮಾಯ and uh, for most we have mother in the form of brahma in our home in the form of father in our home who is here mother is the creator like brahma but where is shiva that is mahesha and for your kind information i can say shiva is there he is not in he is not Mr. Prabhat, I think some technical issue is going on. Uh, I'm not able to hear you. brother uh, i think uh, he has lost the connection exactly we think we could move on uh, so uh, shall i call uh, mr sham uh, shama prasad patnaik yes shama prasad uh, mr shama prasad patnaik madam uh, please kindly take okay, the thanks. charge and thank you ma'am say to your point yeah thanks for uh a very the event as happy teachers uh, day sorry. to all the Thank viewers you. and all admins of fertile brains actually it's an honor to be invited to recite my poem on sacred occasion so first of all, first of all i bow my head before the teachers who has taught me to be a man and what am i today the title of my poem is accolades our teachers are genuine source of eternal inspiration the mold our lives guide to select profession teachers are epitome of wisdom culture and traditions parents instructors but primary teachers our mentors i recall preceptors true masters in all subjects they handled us with utmost care and concern they coached life lessons with love and affection we held them in high esteem as god english my subject of fondness i missed never my english teacher had a unique style of teaching demonstrated as heroes of mythology while reciting verses during my college studies history inspired me a lot my professor stepped into shoes of various characters he would enact realistic scenes on lecture theater he was a true master in the subject i owe my gratitude extend accolades to all teachers and that is the end of my recitation thank you for giving me this opportunity uh thank you mr sham prasad patnaik uh, for your wonderful words uh, now i would like to call upon uh, miss anita sharma if she is there she can hear uh good evening ma'am yeah uh, actually i haven't her. registered uh, but can i go for a poem yes 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 <laughs> okay. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. okay so uh, and everyone is talking about teachers so happy teachers day to all of you over here because i think we Thank are you. always learners in my opinion we are never teachers so i'm also a learner and i was really impacted with the covid classroom and when we were teaching in a blended in a mood so i i still remember that in a poem which i wrote on those you know days so i am going to read here a poem titled covid classroom as per yes. covid sop only teachers will visit their classrooms 
classrooms without students and sounds. A lonely teacher with her headphones and mobiles. Hello, Charlie. Alpha here. Beta coming in. Speaking on headphone like war codes in secret zone. She connects through her smartphone, iPad, laptop, or official desk to scholars. Talent brilliant at home. Sends an invite link every day to join on Google Meet or Google Classroom, Microsoft Team, or on Webinar Jam, Webex, or on Zoom. Students strive hard with smartphones and iPads, laptops and personal computers at home, with electricity cut and internet connect. In a crowded home, they look for a space of their own where no one intercepts in a crowded two rooms apartment like a nest. Surrounded by brothers and sisters in presence of parents and grandparents, accommodate a guest or a pet. For an impression, a virtual fine background in video, where in reality, the walls, doors, and windows stuffed with hangers, clothes, and things overloaded. Looks as if positions are much more than the genuine needs. Students sit in misery and it is crowded at home. Teacher teaches virtually as if a haunted soul, standing alone in a silent classroom. Decked with tables, chairs, or benches, posters, notices, slogans, they all hang on wall. She could be lively only in the midst of life. In isolation, she dwindled to a shadow. Curtains on door, blank blackboards, chalk and duster aside, assignments piled up in cupboard, strewn inside like the memory albums, overhead projectors hanging in shame and shock, stubborn dire smiles satirically at the teacher and her books. The poor suffering soul of a teacher try her best to speak slowly into her headphone to avoid cursing echo, at times request students to switch on their cameras to glimpse at their image to console and comfort her virtual sermon, seeping through the eyes of camera into their minds and souls. She tries to help them sustain their studies during the tough times of pandemic amidst techy hitches. The voices disturbed, the teacher at times muted, students removed out of out by mistake, few unable to connect, few shirk away to join, few full of pride of their beautiful walls, of their curtains and of their windows, or their beds projected in their backgrounds. Still, the smart one possesses a virtual background. So, online classes and virtual meets are not mere jokes, but knowledge shared with no schools, no checks, and no snubs. Too much knowledge to be shared and given an overdose of matter and material. But by the end, there remains a tired teacher, a suffocated student, and a deadly virus. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. That was a wonderful, yeah, thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful words. And really, COVID haunted each and every person on this earth, each and every profession, and each and every person. And it was a, like uh, I was going through the two years of uh, journey of school students as well as the trauma the teachers and students faced during this time. Now yeah. uh, I would like to call upon uh, Francis, uh, Francesa. Miss Francesa, are you there? Are you calling Francesa? Oh, Francesca. Francesca or Francesca. Ah, yeah, can you please recite your verse for this event? You were saying Francesca? I just want to make yeah. sure I'm clear on saying. Okay. Um, Francesca, I think there was a typo mistake when I got the name. Uh, it is you only, ma'am. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, hold on a sec. Yeah. Hmm. I love my teachers. They gave me the best of every world. They taught me things I may never have known had I not been in their lives. Yes, I was a teacher's pet. That's what they call us. 
because I would follow my teacher around trying to learn everything I could from her or him. I loved my English teacher because he gave me the insight of poetry. I loved my acting teacher that also taught us poetry because she taught Oprah Winfrey to do many things. Thank you so much, teachers. I was also a teacher with special needs children because I was inspired by all my teachers. I wanted to make a difference in children's lives who didn't know how to learn and who didn't connect with learning as we know sometimes we're born different. And when we're born different, we need great teachers. Thank you. Francesca Kirkpatrick from Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, Ms. Francesca. And I'm really happy to know that you have been a teacher as well as you have catered to the needs of uh, specially abled children and uh, happy to know about your work. And uh, I really salute you for specifically attending to the specially abled kids who really need more attention and who really need uh, teachers to teach them something uh, which we or ordinary teachers or normal people cannot do it. And now, uh, Brother Prasanna, today I am uh, I won't be reciting a poem on teachers, though I have written two, three poems. But uh, I would like to wind up uh, this uh, program if no one is there else uh, waiting for uh, the recitation. And uh, before uh, winding up the program, I would like to thank Brother Prasanna and the entire team of uh, Fertile Brains um, who usually participate to conduct the event in and out events according to their schedules. They give the time. And uh, today I would like to thank all the team members who have been present over here and who coordinated with Brother Prasanna. So I would like uh, to end up the event with a few words uh, from Brother Prasanna as well as uh, I would like to thank him personally for giving me this chance to host the event. Uh, Brother Prasanna, the mic is uh, all yours and you can say a few words to all the participants as well as you can thank all of them and wind up the event. Well, thank you, thank you, Didi. Thank you for you know <laughs> handing over. I I mean I have no words because since we have been I know uh, how much you are experiencing. I mean you are going in a uh, low phase that you have taken your time and you know uh, <laughs> shown your dedication you know to for the event and you <laughs> the event. So my you all, all are at right? My thanks, first thanks goes to you, Silpa Didi, and please take care of my mother, and uh, she will get she will get soon. Uh, she will get well soon, and I would also thank the participating thank points and honorable guests and everyone. And I would like to have a word from Rick uh, to have as a conclusion, uh, con 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 concluding uh, you know uh, speech. Rick, thank you, my brother. It is such an honor to be here with my fellow educators, my fellow poets. Thanks a bunch of Jasmine to Prashant Kumar Ji. Thanks a bunch of Jasmine to Prashant Kumar Ji. Excuse me, excuse, ex, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, excuse me. Rick is speaking and you are not here. In time. So kindly refrain from, you know. Rick, mic is yours. Kindly uh, mute your mics. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who work so hard to bring civilization, to bring learning to the young people growing up. Those of you who teach young people, those of you who teach grown-ups, I thank you all because it's because of you that we have civilization. And I bless every one of you and I thank you for the good work that you're doing you are building a better world. Thank you, my fellow teachers. Namaste. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Didi. Thank you, Rupali, ma'am. Would you like to say something? Janata, ma'am, Molly, ma'am, and uh, Anita, ma'am. Anybody? Rick. Uh, yes. 
Yes, Prasanna, I want, I don't know, I want you to say something. No, he always say something. Himself. <laughs> no, 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 you must. You're all my inspiration, no. so that's the thing. Yeah. No, you <laughs> no must. No for me. Yeah. Prasanna, so Richie... you're doing a great job, Prasanna. Like, bringing so many minds together, pooling our thoughts. And especially on this eve of Teacher's Day. What a beautiful gathering. Actually, like, we are pulling down so many teachers, so many people who think in that line of the great blessing the teachers are to mankind in guiding the world. Jennifer, I loved your poem when you remembered, you know, how many torchbearers went in front of us and we simply pick up the baton and do our little to lighten up the world. As poets especially, we have double the duty. It was indeed so great that I could be a part of this. Dr. Parvish, sir, sir, I always avidly listen to your rendering and your briefings and all those erudite thoughts that came out from you. All the poems read out. Sometimes I was a bit off screen, but I was listening. And uh, you made it a day present. Now. Thank you for telling brain. This was indeed a great venture for us, the without, tribe of teachers. Without you all, it is it wouldn't be possible, ma'am. It would be it wouldn't be possible. Uh, let me say. I'm, I must uh, uh, just. I'll take one minute. Uh, congratulations, especially to Dr. Prasanna and Shilpa, ma'am. You are wonderful. The way you are carrying, you know, the whole the event. I was just you know noticing it from the very beginning. The way I you know joined. Uh, and you you are Thank really you, have taken things so passionately and quite patiently besides so many you know technical hitches and hurdles so you know a big thanks to you because we need people like you those who are dedicated on the platform and no doubt prasanna is there to show us the light and we have to walk on that today we and had I'm, more technical I'm, problems I'm also, yeah i am also impressed with a uh, uh, few you know poets and no doubt, very inspiring ones. And especially the, you know, uh, lesser words which are being spoken by Rick, but they were so wonderful and very complimentary to the event. So thank you so much, everyone. It's great meeting you. You all inspire me every time, every time, because I'm from the hilly, you know, town. Every time I become lazy, oh yeah, come on, let's, you know, take rest at school outside, something like that. But the people like you, you all inspire me. Thank you so much. And happy Teacher's Day to all of you. Love you all and see you soon. Thank you so much. Congratulations for the event. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you to all the participants over here. Uh, now, I would like to thank and take leave. Brother, uh, you can uh, yeah. also uh, wind up the event. Yeah. There is Hello. nothing much left. I accept saying thank you all for, you know, uh, bearing with yeah. us with your uh, technical glitches. We had too much of uh, technical glitches today. And so so today we had a lot of uh, technical problems so with audio and video both. Uh, Richard was uh, facing so much of, uh, you know, <laughs> thing. Richard, hope you don't mind. And, <laughs> and I think it's the monsoon time. That's the problem. The yeah. rainy season. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, it's, Okay, uh, guys, see you soon again in another event after uh, some time. And I take leave as I have to pack up now my bags, okay?